Recently, I joined Keshav Studio. Keshav is a visual storyteller, an artist, a cartoonist, and I've been trying to learn a lot of stuff from going there, which will also include animation. So, this video, I'm gonna be trying to learn animation, and I'm gonna be sharing the process of me trying to make one. And to make the animation, I'm gonna be using my iPad Air and use these two apps. One is Procreate and the other is Flip a Clip. So those are the two apps that we're gonna be using to make the animation. So let's do this. Flip a Clip is kinda new to me. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try to make some simple animations with that first. And then let's move on to Procreate. Before we start learning anything, we have to first learn the 12 basic principles of animation as described by the legendary animators Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. We are gonna start off small by learning the first principle of animation, which is squash and stretch. This is the principle that animated objects will get longer or flatter to emphasize their speed, momentum, weight, and mass. Using those principles, I'm gonna make a really simple bouncing ball and flip a clip first and then move on to procreate to make a more detailed one. As you can see, as the ball is headed towards the ground, it stretches a bit and as it hits the ground, it squashes. And I guess this is to add a bit more expression and character to the object. So this is gonna be our first basic stretch and squash animation. And now, finally, we are gonna move to procreate, which is one of my most favorite drawing apps. Alright, if you're too lazy to watch the whole video, just skip 30 seconds because the next 30 seconds is gonna be a time lapse video of me drawing the ball. Good morning, sun, how are you? Skies above, Gee, it's great to be alive and love. I want to talk a little bit about frames per second because the number of frames per second decides how smooth your animation is gonna be. So if you're gonna do a frame by frame animation, just remember that you have to draw a lot of frames if you want your animation to be smoother. I'm just gonna be coloring the background of the image of the animation behind the ball. Wait, what am I talking about? Sorry guys, I'm just doing a voiceover for the rest of the drawing part of the video and this is kinda new to me, you know? So it is gonna sound weird. Just bear with it. <laughs> And I just added a few more shadows to the ball and a few shadows to the ground and I added a few more leaves and dust in the background so that you know the environment in the where the ball is in has a little more feel to it and I added a little mouth and two eyes to the character in this case the ball to just make it cute you know just cute and yep that's it a little more highlight to the eyes to make it stand out and yup and that's it guys that's the final animation by using the first principle of animation well hope you had a good day and hope you liked this video and if you did please do share it and here's to me hoping that i'll post another video by the end of next week so cheers to hope